welcome back everyone today we're going through every free non-member pet in adventure quest world there's actually below 10 of them in the game which is crazy i'm going to show you how to get them where they are and what they are so i had to go through the wiki and go through a whole list it was took me like probably an hour and a half to go through that list because there's a lot of them that are special offers and stuff if you go in the wiki and look through you have to sift through a list of about 100 different pets and there's only eight that are actually free for everyone so let's get the video started in three two one still recording this way forever <laughs> Off at number eight, we have the Evolved Blood and Hex Orbs. I'm not 100% sure because I have the Platinum Coins, uh, whether or not you need those to get these pets, because I have it. But if you do, all you have to do is go to Nolgath and spend 2,500 ACs on a Platinum Coin uh, to use these pets. From all what I can tell on the wiki, you don't need the Platinum Coin, but... The wiki has been wrong before. So to get these, you need to go to Arch Portal slash join. One word, Arch Portal. Uh, talk to this guy. Go to his shop. It can't be easier than this. And evolved blood orb and evolved hex orb are in there for Nolgath items, which you can get by farming. If you want to know how to get these, just search up the individual item, and it'll tell you exactly how to get them uh, on a YouTube video that someone made or on the wiki if that's more of your thing. Uh, so you can buy these with merge items, so they're 100% farmable, and you don't need to be a member or anything to get the merge items. So these are the first pets. I put these at the very bottom of the list because they're definitely the hardest to get, and whether or not you need that coin that costs ACs is, I, it's not, I don't know if you need that coin. So that's why I put them at the very last spot on the list. Let's move on to number seven. Alright, at number 7 we have the Love Draglin. This is required at slash join Belene's Dream. That's where you get this pet. You do have to finish the quest line here. That's why it's also at the bottom of the list because there is a quest you need to do to get it. Uh, once you are finished the quest, so all you have to do is run to the very end of the area, which the quest will bring you to the end of the area. It is a pretty long quest. I did it, I think, on stream one day. Did I do it on stream? Maybe not. I don't know. But I did do this quest a long time ago, so I can just run through this whole area without having to do the quest over again, which is good. <laughs> so you just run to the very end of this area. And once you get to the top of this cake, I think it's the cake, yeah. You'll be in this room, and you keep going. And keep going. There's a lot of rooms. And you come here, and you battle him right like that and a drop from him is the love draglin so you can get that pet from this guy also his sword's very cool and was acquirable but is now rare very cool looking sword <laughs> let's get into the next one and number six we have the gold trebleer pet which is acquirable at slash join worm hole so we'll join that map you do also have to finish the quest in this area. This was a recent event in the game, actually. And once you're done the quest, you want to come back to the very start of this area. Talk to Deddy. Deddy will give you this quest, Clone Olier. And from this quest, you can get a few different pets. They're not all uh, non-member, but there are a few, including a gold one and a white one, that I'm pretty sure are non-member. I know there are... Uh, non-member one so you farm this quest which is just done by accepting it and going up here I'll just show you where you where you farm for this quest because I did farm it a little bit not in here um, it's been a while since I've been in this area my bad so right here you can just farm these guys and that will give you the quest items that you need so that's how you get those pets and there is actually a few of them more than one here uh, just different colors basically very cool, and uh, you can get those for your pet. At number five, we have the Twilly, Twig, and Zorback pets. I have to include these in the list, even though they're very common knowledge on how to get. So what you want to do is go to Battle on Town. 
and then run over to the pet shop or just teleport straight into the pet shop. That's more your thing. Talk to this person. Go to quests and do the daily quest here for not that one. This one. Pretty sure. One of these quests. Where's the quest? Where is the quest? It's it's in here somewhere. It's it's in here somewhere. Here it is. Alright, this quest. My bad. This quest right here. So you this Kill three frogs arts. Not the hardest thing in the world. You know where frogs arts are if you've been playing this game for any amount of time. And it will give you one mulligan meal per day. I think if you're a member, this there might be a faster way of doing it, but this is a non-member guide, so you just do that once per day until you have 30 of them. And then go into the shop. Actually, it might be a shop here. Yeah. So go in the shop and you get one of these three pets for 30 mulligan meal. And of course, if you play up to 90 days, you can have all three of them. And they are uh, non-member and free. So there's three pets that you can have uh, for free. Uh, it is a daily quest, though, so that's why it's lower on the list. And number four, we have the Time Wraith pet. So you get the Time Wraith pet by going to slash join portal maze. I'm not sure whether or not you have to do quests to get this pet. You might have to, but uh, if, you, if you finish the quest here or... If, if you don't have to do the quest here, I don't know. Either way, just follow me. Walk where I'm walking. Uh, come up to these guys. They should be level 10, yes. So just farm these guys, and the pet will drop. It is probably a rare drop, probably like a 1%, 5% drop. I'm not too certain, but it is a pet right here. It actually looks like a downscaled version of these rays right there, so I don't even need to show you a picture of it on the screen. So that's good. It's just a smaller version of those guys. Let's go to number three all right I had a much harder time picking the top three than the rest because these ones are pretty similar but this one is definitely the hardest to get out of the last three in this list at number three we are going to go to slash join grave strike now you probably know about this pet's been in the game for quite a while but in case you don't you have to go to the ultra boss which just click on challenge fight there it'll bring you to ultra and farm this guy for his pet. I think it's an AC item. It might be. Um, but I'm not too certain on that. I might have it in my bank. Let me go check real quick. Yes, I did have it in my bank. That's what the pet looks like. It's right there on my character. Very large pet. Very cool. That is definitely deserves a number three spot on this list. It would be higher. But how hard it is to get farming that ultra boss. You probably want a friend or two with you. You can solo him. He's soloable, but pretty easy solo, actually. But it's a lot faster if you have people with you. So let's move on to number two. All right. At number two, we're going to be going to slash join Legion Crypt. Once we're here, we just have to run all the way to the end. You may or may not have to finish quests here. I think you do have to finish quests here. Um, but you get a free pet out of it, so... Why not finish the quest here? Plus, it's probably a pretty cool quest line. I, I remember playing through this a long time ago on stream, of course. So, once you finish the quest here, just run to the very end where you'll find the final boss, Brutus. Or Brutus, something like that. Pronounced differently, depending on where you live, I guess. But, uh, probably not depending on where you live. It's probably one pronunciation. But farming this guy will drop this pet. So, I do have it in my inventory to show off right now. The Aventius Wolf. Looks like that. He flies around with you. Very cool looking pet. Goes good with some certain sets. Or just if you don't have a pet and you want one. Pretty easy to get. He's a boss drop. I think it's either 3 or 1% drop rate from him. So let's move on to number 1. And at number 1. We're coming at you with a Frogzard pet. A very cool one at slash join Battlecon. I put this at number 1 because of how easy it is to get. No quests required. You just go to Battlecon, you run uh, to the right, there's a rogue frogzard right here, you farm him, 800 health, literally any person in this game, no matter if you're level 1 or level 65, could farm this pet and get him very easily. He might be, I think he is a low percentage drop, but he is also a free AC pet. There he is, a little cute little frogzard, of course the Grand Theft frogzard is is a reference to the Grand Theft Auto series and he has he's animated too. He's an animated pet. He runs around with you. It's pretty fast. 
little frogs are really cute I think there might be another pet that I might put as a bonus after this pet uh, that is also free and AC but uh, I'll have to do a little bit more searching on the wiki and I might bring you a bonus if not thanks for watching the video guys hopefully you enjoyed if you did leave a like comment down below which one of these is your favorite or uh, what pets is your favorite member pet like derpy kitty and all those pets so i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching subscribe if you're not already and all right coming in at number zero i guess just a bonus because i may or may not have accidentally deleted it from my doc while i was making the video script and all that stuff so i yeah it was an accident but there is another pet that's also a boss drop not sure if it's free ac or not but it drops from the Ultra Pedra. Pedra, I think that's how you say that. So we're just going to, it's just a slash join. And you'll go to the Ultra Pedra. You might have to do quests in the area that this guy is, which is Lava Run. Uh, one word. Uh, 23,000, or is it, I don't, that's a lot of health. And you should be able to farm this by yourself. He doesn't do that much damage. Yeah, but I am level 65, of course. So this isn't like the frogs are where you can do this at any level. But it is a very easy uh, farm. If you want to do that, and he does drop a pet that is a little bird uh, with golden wings and it's colored and it's cool. <laughs> so that's a bonus. I thought I'd throw that in at the end. Kind of forgot that in my docs. So thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, like I said before, leave a like and all that jazz. Peace. Again, second piece in one video. Bye. Click the video in the top right corner if you haven't seen it yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.